Previously on Beer and Board Games. You put this up your back end. It's toy. It's a thing that goes there. Butt plug. Yep. In your back end, when uh -huh. the when the plug is there, yeah. this thing engages. Anal cortex. It's the thing that tightens. <laughs> Anus. <laughs> farther, farther in. Uh, the farther in. Yep. Oh damn. Hey, you deadbeat. We know you haven't worked in a while. Get off that couch and report immediately to the Fun Employment Office to play Fun Employed. I applied for Fun Employment. They denied me. They said I was too sour. Tonight's episode was sponsored by the makers of Fun Employed. They made a game and now it's on our show. If you want to make a game and put it on our show, just give us an email and we'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> like a bunch of ass. <laughs> What is this beer? I can barely pronounce the word. Like a tonica Quinn Zamber Lager. Quinn. Surprisingly syrupy. Like molasses and orange peel. Yeah. Almost coriander-ish. Got that. Got that. Element of the game. <laughs> oh, got the, got the fits. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there was a, a snake in it. Stop it. <laughs> okay, what's going to happen is we are all going to be dealt out four cards. Kasim, why don't you take care of that? There are ten cards face up on the table. That's a communal pot. Anyone can use them if they can get to them first. Uh, all right, guys, I'm hiring for a dictator role. Uh, what are your qualifications, young man? Well, here's the thing. I have a very good poker face. Solid. Just Me like Lady Gaga. Do you also have a meat suit? These references from three years ago. <laughs> and she was best friends with Tony Bennett. That was um, more recent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit. My Lady Gaga yeah, references thanks, are buddy. too up to date. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll go back. She bumped into Leonardo DiCaprio and he made a funny face. Oh, thank That's you. the latest Lady <laughs> Gaga. That's the latest oh, one. Good work. I hadn't heard. She kept a poker face during that, and just mm. like, I'll keep a poker face during any sort of squirmish or skirmish. I also have. Now you're the dictator. I, you're the dictator. You're applying. Oh, role hi. To the I, there you go. I'm, I'm a dictator. I don't think you're going to get the job. All right. I you're have a minivan. Okay. I'm very effeminate. They'll be you like, don't sound very effeminate. Yeah. I'm effeminate. I also have an army of 5,000 men. <laughs> I am here to dictate. Let me tell you, my subjects will be in constant fear of me because I have an insatiable desire to take a rock and a scalpel to the balls. Well, I think I'm your choice for dictator, and here's exactly why. I have a pretty serious foot fetish, and when I really want to, I can break out the old German accent, which is a very good dictator type of thing. I'm gonna have to go with Bill. Yes, you will. That was the accent. <laughs> I thought I was applying for the job of being a potato in someone's pants. Right. Hi, I'm looking for a personal trainer. Come in. Oh, hello. Thank um, you for coming to my house. I didn't oh, feel like leaving. I'm very lazy. There's a few things that you should know about me. I'm very hands off. I kind of let you just do your own thing. The reason why I'm hands off is because I'm hands on myself. I'm a chronic masturbator. I got the hands down the pants and I'm playing around with the, uh, with the old bone and uh, the testicles, which I like to call my nice things. I will keep you motivated. I don't just do the masturbating. Uh, if you stop working out, I'll beat you with a coat hanger. I like the idea of being beat with a coat hanger because I think that would help, but I'm not sure about the masturbation. Fair enough. Seems I'll, like I'll, that could get messy. I'll wait outside. Oh, good, in please. The, in the bushes. Bam! What the hell? I That's a shotgun. It. You just shot it's, at me with a shotgun. It's my sawed-off shotgun. It's one of the many tools I use to uh, get people into shape. I do feel like running right yep. now. And if this shotgun doesn't scare you, my pet dragon is right behind me. If you do well, I'll let you hang out with my pet sloth. I gotta go with shotgun, dragon, sloth. <laughs> Come in. Oh, that's just me. I'm still in the bushes. Oh, God. Yeah. Shotgun him, please. Blam! Oh my god, I've got a shotgun blast wound. A blast wound? Do I? <laughs> Can't stop me. He didn't hit me in the bone or the nice things. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see, we got a lot of cars out there in the lot. We need to move them. We need to move them fast. How you uh, doing? What is your name? Bill Frankerson. Bill Frankerson? Yes. From Ed Wynn, one, Lincoln, Lincoln one, Mercury? Once upon a time. I've heard of you. I'm, uh, I'm your ideal candidate. I'm a black hole of self-loathing. Right. I just hate myself so much well, that yeah. it sucks in customers. <laughs> I myself am a dwarf star of self-loathing. 
Here's the thing, I've got nothing left to lose. I also have an online degree to back that all up. Very good, you're an intense young man. Yeah. I kinda can't stand it. But uh, I'm sucking you in. You might be I'm right, you, in. you might be right for the job. And uh, who do we have next? Uh, Hi there. Your, Hi, uh, your name? Uh, Don Miller. <laughs> You know, from Don Miller. From, from Don Miller Dodge. Don Miller. Do, 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 do. I remember your commercials. We make you the car. Oh. I loved it when you dressed up like Columbus for your Columbus Day sale. Oh, yeah, Columbus. We had a good time. Everybody dressed up. Some people dressed up like. S sir, have you been drinking? Native Americans, yes. <laughs> I always drink. You know how I make time for my drinking? I'm illiterate. And I shout at people when they come in. And then I, I'll, I ask them if they want to do some SM. Diane. Would you send no, in... No, my name is Don Miller. Would you send in... Don Miller. From Don... Would do, you do, send, do, send do, in Sven? Oh, Don Miller. Yeah. Sven, show this man to the door. Okay, how you think, Mr. Miller? I see the door. I don't need any help. Yeah. So you you I'll help it to the door. No, you need to show it to me. It's gonna happen. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Don Miller. Uh, I'm gonna have to choke S you to death. Slam. So I'm gonna give it to you. Okay, uh, really need some help. I got this kink in my neck right here. What makes my massages so great? Mm hot dogs, but something that no other masseuse is going to bring. Yeah. Taint. <laughs> no other masseuse has, has a taint. That they use. I see. Oh. <laughs> uh, it sounds to me like you got tight quarters. <laughs> Your quarters are tight. All of them. Very good. I also I have some, a number of tools that I use for my massage, which are extremely effective at loosening your muscles and making you feel relaxed. Nunchucks. I slap them around your body and your, ba your back, your muscles. Yes. It's the sound they often make. I also have a jackhammer in case okay. to get out those really hard knots on your, your spine. Yeah. And then I, um, I also come with my own soundproof room so no one can hear the screams. What, what can you offer? I'm here to alleviate it for you and let me tell you, I didn't go to a fancy massage school. No. Mm. I was born on the streets okay. of Tijuana. <laughs> sure. Boy, I had some good times in Tijuana. And all of the whores and uh, donkey show barkers, right. they taught me how to massage. I appreciate everything you guys have shared with me today, but I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, the jackhammer. Jackhammer yeah. works every time. Yeah. Does the game Fun Employed look fun to you? Of course it does. Fun is right there in the title. You can click on the link in our description and go to a site where you can buy a copy of the game for yourself. Well now, what is this special drink we've got? Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. My, my name is Basil Hayden, and I brewed this whiskey from my own family recipe that goes back two generations. 1796? No, well, yes, that is correct. Two generations. We're very old. <laughs> Oh, wow, people. you guys have lived here. <laughs> My grandfather lived to be 114. <laughs> <laughs> and he had children when he was 113. Yes, and they all lived to be 114. Ah, all right, well, that is possible then. <laughs> I got new tumblers for Christmas from my girlfriend. Those are pretty. Oh, who's your girlfriend? Tumblers. Mandy P. Tinkin. <laughs> I've, heard, I've heard about Mandy's work on Broadway. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. That is quite good. Thank you, Ryan Rogers. Mm -hmm. Cheers. I propose a little variation. Elliot Squash sent us an idea too. Pitching for the job without looking at the cards beforehand is fun. Oh, let's do that. Hi. Hello. I'm applying for school nurse. Um, I have a God complex. I always feel like God's trying to get me. Oh, I'm not sure that's what a God complex <laughs> is. But that's but, my God complex. I, okay. All right. I don't know what else to call that. That's fair. You're the nurse. But I mean, I'm not going to diagnose you. You. you I'm sorry. Yourself. We've gotten off on the wrong it's foot. It's quite all right. It's <laughs> quite all right. It's because I'm so passive aggressive. Understandable. I have an associate's degree. That helps. Uh, yes, I understand you're looking for a school nurse. Yes, I am. My main qualification is my secret identity. Okay. My secret identity is a doctor. So you're, you're <laughs> overqualified. Kids really are into me mm -hmm. because of my brass knuckles. <laughs> they know I don't take no nonsense and mm -hmm. my erectile dysfunction <laughs> is also a plus in a school situation. Hello. Hi. I'm a good choice to do that. Uh-huh. Because I can defuse bombs. And I'm gonna hire the doctor. What? <laughs> I could say who I'm looking to hire, but instead I think I'll just say fobbity 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 fi. 
I'm looking for an auctioneer. Ah, hey. <laughs> I can be your auctioneer. Let me just tell you right now, I have the night terrors. I am used to just getting up and doing stuff. Take care of business. I also have a lot of rum to deal with the night terrors, so it's not gonna really get in the way of anything. But also, I have treats for you. Wow. Let me just say, and I like to wear spandex. Keeps me all contained, keeps me all ready to go. I got the night terrors and the spandex. I'm Treating everybody. You, sir, are going to be hard to beat, let me tell you. You are a number one in my consideration. Right now. Oh, Do I hear flabbity. Gladiator shirts, yeah, but the thing is, I'm gonna come over to here and I got my sex dan right now. <laughs> oh, you might be slipping oh, a little. Damn. Damn. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna give you my V card. I have a sex dan, but I am a virgin. Now, <laughs> another thing to know about the situation is I commune with fish. <laughs> All right, two very strong candidates. What do you have? Uh. I'm an auctioneer. Hmm. Uh, I have a boomerang. You ever seen an auctioneer with a boomerang? I'm into Scientology. You, you've said nothing that has anything to do with being an auctioneer or auctions. Uh, my tramp stamp is my main qualification. Right on my back above my behind. Okay, let's just... <laughs> Take these and put these away. I know how to auction things. Bobbity bobbity big bobbity bobbity sabbity da bob sold. A sex den run by a virgin, I'm not sure that would quite be enough fun. I'm gonna give it to you. Ugh. What's your most overblown racist impression? <laughs> Probably Scottish. Not <laughs> racist. We have some Scottish folks on the feed. That's a great bunch of bastards over there. It's doing it, doing it, you doing it, it. That's great. <laughs> what are your qualifications to be an escort? Here it on. Here's the thing. I'm here to escort you. And my qualifications. What did you say? Uncontrollable gas. Okay. Not one word. Uncontrollable one gas. Word. I'll make sure no one gets in your way by farting in their face. Okay. <laughs> Followed by metal underwear. <laughs> well, it's so tasty. If you're ever any uh, need anything to eat to sustain yourself, you got it right on me. I don't right. believe that part. Plus my beard. Bro. Oh yeah. Look at me fucking beard. Ah. Right there. That's appropriate. Yeah. Plus my heavy flow. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, next, please. I have a utility belt. Okay. It has all kinds of gadgets. Should you ever need to scale a roof? Nice. If you know what I mean. I do. I'm kosher. Okay, okay, okay. And I have soft hands. I have only four things to say to you about my qualifications as an export. Export. Oh. An export. <laughs> I'm a pyromaniac. Sure. I'm into affirmative action. Nice. And the apocalypse. Uh -huh. And also I've got a slender frame. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know I'm gonna regret this, but I think I, I'd rather go with the soft hands yeah. gentlemen and his utility belt. What? One of our sponsors for this show is audible.com. If you go to audible.com slash beer, you can sign up and get one free download immediately. I personally uh, listen to a lot of post-apocalypse type of audiobooks and like zombie ones and stuff like that. Um, however, there is a beer related one that I think Matt is going to tell you about. It's called The Brewer's Tale, History of the World According to Beer, something that our viewers might be interested in. Our very own Fo Horbe has actually read this book Matt's talking about, and he says it's really good. And we believe him because he's never lied to us yet. If I'm on a plane or something like that, I immediately, as soon as I get on the plane, I just plop those on. The old lady sitting next to me can never talk to me because I have my audio audiobook going. Because old ladies are always rushing up to you to have <laughs> conversations. <laughs> oh, excuse me, young man. Clump. <laughs> Post-apocalypse <laughs> happened. How are you going to survive it, oh. Ger Ger Gerald? They have books. You have ears. Audible.com slash beer. I'm going to need a celebrity impersonator. Well, let me tell you about my qualifications. I wear yoga pants and I'm a sexual tyrannosaurus. I will fuck you so hard you'll forget that you hired me to do voice impersonation. <laughs> Listen, I'm screwed because my wife just left me. She took everything. Okay. I've never done celebrity impersonations before, <laughs> but I'm willing to learn. I have no self-respect. <laughs> that is a big plus. And Understood. I've got a yarmulke, so like any Jews. <laughs> I've got problems in my goo. So you, your problems in your goo. My goo. I don't know how to compete with this over here with this yarmulke. He's so good. I just eat the jelly. It lubricates my vocal cords, and I can do any voice you do. Because time flies when you're doing impersonations 
of celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a little tough for me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Remember, to go. I'm gonna have to go. Tyrannosaurus sexual no, sex. That wasn't tough for me. Sex. Um, Boink. I'm gonna, Boink. I'm gonna go with Matt. Oh, what? Thank God. I'm not just hiring oh, a singer. I'm hiring the best singer. And then, of course, there's my million dollar smile. <laughs> Wrong note. Doesn't matter. <laughs> million dollar smile. That's the KO. That is the knockout punch for me as the yeah, best singer you're gonna find. Knocked you out. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I am solid as a brick. Now my final qualification is that I am a very sheltered childhood. What do you have to say for yourself, guy? I'm going to hire. <laughs> uh, well, I'm a country singer, and my name is Jim Severson. I love it. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about my songs. I have a song. That song called The Claw. Yes. That's what I call my truck. Okay. I got a song called The Wasp. That's what I call my motorbike. Good. And I got a song about the magic wand. <laughs> That's what I call my penis. And I got. And I can't lie. I can't tell a lie. I'm just like George. Washington, thank you very much. <laughs> wow. I will be famous. All right, this is the final round. Kasim has a commanding lead with four cards. The only thing that could possibly happen is Aaron might tie him. Otherwise, we will all lose. Making a movie, got an, uh, an expensive star, so I need me a stunt double. My name's Randy. Randy. Sounds I am like a, a professional name. stunt double. I'd like to hear it. I've got six months <laughs> left. <laughs> <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> it's done. Bobby the Bobby the Big Bobby the Bobby.